Thank you, Mark. And uh, good morning and uh, good afternoon and uh, for everyone, wherever you are. So it's a great pleasure for me to attend this uh, webinar today. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Portrainian for making it happen because uh, they invited me to this uh, particular uh, exciting and important uh, webinar. I would like also to thank uh, Transport Event for making it happen because uh, it's unusual to have all uh, this excitement around uh, women in transportation. Uh, so first of all, um, I would like also to thank Rosita because she will be managing the slides for me. <laughs> um, so first of all, I would um, just give you an insight about uh, what is MERSC and what are our uh, global decisions about inclusion and diversity. Because when we are talking about women, we are talking about a lot of things behind uh, because we can also talk about uh, specificities, we talk about uh, religions, we, go, we talk about uh, uh, a lot of differences. It's not just the gender, but it could be also religion, and it gathers a lot, a lot of discussions. So let's start about uh, MERSC in general. Uh, and uh, next slide, please. Okay, so just um, a quick view on what is Merck's in the, the worldwide. Uh, as a leading sh shipping company, leadership and company, uh, we move 20% of all containers in the world, which means a big responsibility and uh, big of uh, innovation improvements that we, we need to settle before doing that. Uh, let me just give you an insight, but because you can read on the screen, all the information about the group. And let me just uh, recover some uh, figures on the history of the group, because the company was uh, founded in Denmark in 1904 with one freighter. We are in 2021, and you can see all the work that has been done. In 1928, MERS uh, line was founded. The first line was founded with the one route between Asia and US. AP Moller Maersk made a promise more than a century ago to help our customers grow, thrive and improve the world through trade. And let me also uh, celebrate with you because yesterday we uh, celebrated the 135th anniversary of Maersk Star. Maersk Star, which is well known in the world because we have the white seven-pointed star that is on all our containers, on all our shippings, and all our stuff uh, take it. It was used and by the founding family of AP Moller Maersk since 1886 as a funeral. And this was because of the, the wife, Laura, of uh, the founding the founder, Mr. A.P. Moller. Uh, this is a great story. Maybe we can, we can come back to it later on, but it means that the five stars was founded because of a woman. So it started very early in, in the notion and uh, in the history of MERSC. So a quick recap, because we have 12 million containers carrying all kinds of goods from anywhere to everywhere. More than 100,000 customers all over the world, large and small. And when you know that every six minutes you have one port call in somewhere in the world, more than 700 vessels and so on. If we can just go to this next slide, please. Talking about Maersk Radio, I make it also very, um, very quick. But this is important because our first vessel call was in 1997, which means that we are here for almost 24 years. We have three calls per week from everywhere, let's say, but mostly from Europe and Asia. 20% market shares in the, in the Iranian, and we have only eight people 
empowered by our heritage and values. Eight people in the office. And as Emmanuel said, <laughs> we are in the same situation. I have only two guys in the team. <laughs> so, which means that we are mostly uh, women in, uh, in the agency. Why I am acting and why I am emphasizing about the, uh, the values, because the constant care, the humbleness, the uprightness, and our employees and our name make this happen, made this happen for several years, because we are the leader for several years already, and made that happen because it's extremely important to have these values. We talked, Maggie uh, talked before, and uh, Monica as well, about the edu education. Education is extremely important, and the values are also important. When you drive, when you manage, when you are the, the leader, you need to have constant, you need to have uh, important values to rely on. Next slide, please which makes me come to, um, to our subject today. Diversity in, and inclusion. In MERS, it's very, very important because as you can see, it seems very fantastic to have three women out of 10 in the board. It's good, but it's not enough. As you can see, we have put some targets because we, we really need to be more, um, um, more in the empowerment of women, more into inclusion, more into diversity. This is our aim and we are working hard for it. And that's why I emphasize this upon the, the values because this is where we act, the people. When we empower people, when we learn with people, when we train people, and when we uh, motivate people, and we take care of our people, then you take care about your customers, you take care about your trade, you take care about everything. Meaning that all in one, we are all going in the same direction. As you can see, the progress is here, but the representation of women in MERSC, let's say for the executive, our target is 20%. Uh, senior leaders, it's 18%. Leaders, 25%. Senior managers, 35%, which means that we are already not yet in it. When we go beyond, when we see the, uh, the persons not from high income OECD countries, it's a little bit more because we, are, we have targeted 30% for the executive, 21% for the senior leaders, 38% for the leaders and 52% for senior managers. So for, to attempt this strategic and important targets, we have put in place a lot of things. We have put in place and we have joined an initiative hosted by Danish shipping associations, which is attracting more women to shipping and logistics. Why? Because we, we really know, we all know that we need to attract more women. And how do we attract more women? By giving them more insights on this exciting, job that we all handle that we all do as a shipping company or tracker or whatever it is it is when it concerns transport we have also established a women's network in our global technology function and we have put in place uh, a, a global maternity policy and we have target of reaching 90 percent retention rate for women returning to work after maternity leave in 2020, which means that we need to attract women, we need to keep them, 
we need to maintain the same level of education. We need to say to, to, to keep on track the same level of opportunities for women because we need to hire more women, but we also need to maintain the same level and to retain the existing ones. MERS gender diversity and inclusion policy provides details. And if just please, Rosita, if you can click on the diversity link. Thank you. Can you see this? I'm not sure if you can see it. No, you're going to have to share it with uh, it open with Word or PDF. So you're going to have to share that. You, we won't see it otherwise. OK, I have to. OK, sorry. Um, because it opens up another window. You need to go okay. and catch that window. All right. Can you see this now? Yeah, yes. Good. So uh, moving to our um, our site. And if you just stroke, can you scroll down, please? <laughs> yes. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, because I just scroll down again, and then we, we can go to uh, more. Hello? Yes. Hello? Can, yes, can you yes, hear? Yes, yes, here. Women in transport and logistics. OK. So I gave you uh, the, the link because you have all the everything inside. And uh, one of the main uh, targets that we have put in place also is she trades. And this was yeah. with the partnership to help female entrepreneurs who use logistics and shipping. Why? Because uh, we, uh, we found that there was a lot of barriers. There was a lot of misunderstanding and there was a lot of unknown situation where people, where women uh, were afraid to go and do entrepreneur, uh, be entrepreneurial. And this helped a lot of women to step into and to jump into the entrepreneurial world by having a lot of knowledge a lot of uh, accompaniment, a lot of information about the shipping and how to handle all documentation, how to handle all the information about how doing transportation and logistics. This is one of many, many other innovation, many, many of other incentives, many of uh, um, local um, decisions that was made uh, were made by uh, our top management and we are also doing a lot of partnership with associations to keep uh, the the to keep the things moving on and let's inform all the women about their possibilities and not to be afraid by jumping into the world of shipping and the world of transportation and logistics. Okay. So we, we can share also the link with you and you can also maybe uh, take it immediately and go and have some insight, additional insight about what Maersk is doing for uh, elevating and empowering women into the world of transportation and shipping. Thank you.